Taurus, please, Spirit, give me the cards that we need to see, the six-card spread for the Taurus, Sun, and Moon viewers. This is their past, their present, their future simultaneously existing. And I appreciate you so much for allowing me to be a clear and open channel for their divine guidance. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you so much. All right. <clears throat> Taurus, so far where a lot has been kept under wraps for a very long time, I hear. Taurus, it's been a very long time, four years, the past four years, I've hid a lot from you, from someone. There's someone that you're hiding a lot from, for, from the past four years. And take this as the message applies like as it resonates okay don't apply something that doesn't fit so if it's not you then it could be someone you're dealing with who has held something under wraps for four years four months four days especially if you're seeing the divine number 444 if you're feeling guided to recenter yourself and your focus to create a more stable and grounded foundation then yes these are all signs that this message coming through may be for you. The years are just coming, but they're coming to give you patience. This is all creating more and more patience for the healing process. At one point, you would feel very, very impulsive about the decisions that you've, you're making. But right now, you realize the need to take things slow. You've avoided healing for a while, Taurus. I feel like for a lot of you, you've really just used the season of holidays to create fun for yourself. And while you were having such a good time, I feel like you avoided a lot of suppressed emotions that's coming through. <clears throat> Taurus has the Empress, and this is your card. It's interest, interesting. The Empress comes out to represent your environment in the reverse, but then you have the Sun card that comes from within. So it's almost like due to not having a certain reconciliation of the past, not revisiting not allowing yourself to, to, to revisit a birthing place of the past. Whatever this looks like. For some of you, it's not an actual birth that you're revisiting. This is, <clears throat> this is when you might have chosen not to do something. But it's now sparking something within you just because you put it off. And I talked about something like this in the last reading where putting off something allowed you to create a better view of how you move forward in it. And you didn't even realize that you, that's what you were doing, maybe. You thought it was a missed opportunity or it was just something that wasn't meant to be when really it was just for you to look at it differently, see it through yourself. See it with compassion. Again, that's another message coming through. It's really funny. Whenever I pick a day to do my earth signs or my fire signs or my air signs, all of the readings kind of blend. But we're getting to this level where we're accepting as a collective that <clears throat> all of these energies are within all of us. And we've known this for a while, but how do we apply it within our teaching it, it starts from each place, right? Each place. I don't know why we went there, but sorry. We'll get back to this um, message here. It's the Ace of Pentacles that's guiding us into our highest timeline. So moving us into a higher level of ascension is meant to be something that we think we want now being okay so this is saying that <clears throat> i decided i don't want something from the past
because I'm looking some, at something in the future and it looks more like me than this thing in the past. And it's true. The thing is, the thing is I can't deny that this does look like you. But there is a sense of needing to revisit something of the past in order to get to it. These are two different flower beds. They're not even mixed. So they're both shining through the compassion that they've had for themselves and others. There's someone who, um, there's a, a maternal figure who is trying to tell her truth about why something isn't going to be the way they thought it would be. <clears throat> Starting over and doing something again isn't going to go the way they thought it would. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I cannot talk in earth signs reading today. I thought that was the Empress, but the Empress is right here. And the Emperor is actually what's in the environment. This is really going to be a very interesting reading. So please bear with me as I try to channel this message. I feel like this is definitely at a business place. where someone's job doesn't get to go where they want it to, or someone doesn't increase in a position in a job, but they end up learning how to create this abundance on their own within. There's that message of clarity coming through for somebody. <clears throat> These are two divine, very powerful, powerful people who are looking at each other from the outside. They see the other person clearly for who they are, but they're not seeing their reflection in it. I hope that you get that, Taurus. That was one of the biggest key components of the message that's really shown up on the board here. <clears throat> This could be a boss for some of you, for sure. You're learning from them more than you think that you are. Somehow they're going to take a business loss and you don't see that the loss is also within you. But that loss then creates the clarity on how you can gain within. So I see very strongly here for Taurus, maybe a lot of people working in a very third dimensional job, right? And the company tries to try something new and it goes well for a little while, <clears throat> only to show where it's weak at, only to show where the plan is weak. And you gain the truth and clarity now it takes the hit, but something within you is then illuminated. And then you decide you don't want to stay. So you take the loss and you plant other seeds. <clears throat> I'm so sorry I keep doing that. It's really going to be aggravating for someone and I'm so sorry. But I'm trying so hard to clear my throat and speak with my, my, my confidence in my chest right now. And I feel like that's what someone's coming into is that so much of this company they've taken on themselves, not realizing that once it's all said and done and they choose not to reconcile with it, the healing process will be 
getting over how many emotions they felt in it only to change it into something that they can change it and transform it into something that they can use, right? So accepting the loss on a very personal level only to transform its emotional body into the fluidness of changing your circumstance by creating something of your own. So you learned how to overcome a certain failure due to watching it on an external surface of someone else, someone else in their business. That's what I'm getting for, for you, Taurus. Taurus. Taurus, sun and moon viewers, please, Spirit, allow me to be a clear and open channel. Thank you. Taurus, you have two. You have the bat and the camel. <clears throat> the bat is upright. Let's read that first, and then you have the camel, the bat and the camel. Seem like two different, um, very two different animals, but somehow they always resonate with one another. So I'm curious to see how these two are gonna connect, the bat and the camel. The bat is upright. So sorry, guys. It's taking me forever to get to this page. The bat. <clears throat> the bat, the bat, the bat, the bat. And I'm not doing any editing on these videos. They're just going to be raw for right now. So let's see. Darkness letting go, death leading to rebirth. So darkness letting go, death leading to rebirth. Before emerging, the bat waits for the sun to set and the moon to rise. In the darkness, it can see all that was invisible in the daylight hours. The bat is a master of the subtile senses, of the underlying forces that cause some things to prosper and others to fade. The bat card shows up to signify the ending of a chapter, the closing of a door. The bat comes swiftly, encouraging us to move on. In just a few hours, a new day dawns. No more lingering in the past. Okay, so my Taurus are accepting, adapting, and adjusting at this time. So you're wa watching the sunrise is going to allow you to use your third eye into seeing how many times you can transform and adjust, how many times you can allow yourself to pick back up. <clears throat> Let's go over the camel now, because this is gonna be on the opposite. I feel like this is the, the oppositional energy of our soul. Like for example, this is a, the light aspect of our soul. And the Taurus, the darker aspect of ourself, is probably going through this, this um, camel energy, the shadow energy. Let's see if that's how it's playing out. That's just my guess right now. So camel, camel, camel. It's hot and cold for sure. So it's definitely opposing energies that we're getting here. Look at the colors, red and blue. So fire, heat blue, cold, feeling the shadows, feeling the, the lonely days feel very cold and damp. But when you're feeling at your high days, you're feeling very passionate. It kind of takes off in a sense of creativity. So the camel is resourceful, independent, and knows oneself. The camel can handle absolutely anything as it carries a wealth of nourishment within this wondrous creative is a self-reliant and handles challenge with ease. Even in the face of excess heat, judgment, or anger, the camel searches inside for the cool elixir of water and to calm the situation, the camel represents the ultimate form of bringing opposites into balance. 
there we are fire and water fire and water and being responsible for one's own reactions the camel is a wonderful traveler wonderful traveler and especially fond of trips to faraway lands so when in balance it's calm content and a sparkle in the eye when out of balance it's dehydrated it lacks vitality and so to bring into balance a pilgrimage so i feel like at this time your shadow wants to be integrated with the other side of itself it wants to feel like it can be in balance so what i get here for you taurus is that as you recognize on the outside one person's failures to see how you can create it on your own please remember to integrate both of this person that you're watching on the outside and and turn them internally both ends this is saying that you and your boss become one because you've both carried one end of this spectrum, hot or cold. You've been on either end and now you'll merge the two. You're going to do it. You're going to do it because your loss, all of your feeling that you've put into this, you will use as the seeds that you plant. And you'll give yourself the patience in blending the two properties to make something interesting again all right so taurus 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 let me get your universal message and then i'll let you go until next time next week on monday monday taurus capricorn virgo or sign monday so thank you so much for watching if you could please like the video comment if you would like to, um, let's start a chat, everyone. Let's start introducing ourselves and getting to know one another. We'll do collective readings on Fridays and then be able, available to chat and open up the chat to everyone. Okay, so let's say Taurus. Taurus, Sun, and Moon viewers, please allow me to be a clear and open channel for the divine guidance of Taurus. Taurus, please, Spirit, for Taurus. Show me Taurus. Taurus, Sun, and Moon viewers. The Sun and Moon viewers for Taurus. Taurus, Cap Taurus Capricorn, Virgo. Just Taurus, please. This is the Taurus reading. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> All right, so let's throw these back in. Yes, our focus is directly on Taurus. Yes, we we want you to get your universal message, Taurus. I'm so sorry. All right, I know that there's a lot that's internally burning within you. There's a desire that's coming, that's birthing within you. And it's also finding some, some level of compassion within the patience that it's needing to get to this, to this place. You're, you're creating a whole 360, not a 180. You are really seeing these two different places. And all my earth sign videos have pretty much been the same. They've been the same message. Um, I'm thinking sometimes I don't even want to do 12 zodiac signs because I see the bigger um, calling. I'm wanting to allow myself to be a part of the calling that merges these zodiac signs into just one collective reading, allowing us to accept the accountability that comes with that, the, the empowerment even, you know, so that we can move beyond this intention tool and really, really focus on shifting the frequency of the planet that we all take part in you know take part in taurus taurus sun and moon viewers taurus please show me the energies universe what is the energy for taurus what do they need to see taurus 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 sun and moon viewers <clears throat> now remember it doesn't always have to be in business this could be in any form of a partnership but it's just saying that you've built something down to its 
to its success and then seen its fall. So it's rise and fall. This is like, this is like watching generation after generation, seeing the rise and fall of something, whatever that looks like in your, um, in your reality. I choose love no matter what. That's the focus this week here, Taurus. Choosing love no matter what, no matter how many times something rises and falls. Where is the love in this? Where is the love in this? There was a song that I was channeling, but I just couldn't, I couldn't keep that. I'm sorry. I'm just holding one second to see if it'll come back. What's love got to do with it, got to do with it? That song. Sorry, I don't know the song very well. So I can't even tell you who it is, but that for those of you, um, choose love no matter what. Someone's asking, what does love have to do with this? And you're being asked, Taurus, to choose love no matter what. So maybe whatever you're coming out of that you're watching rise and fall, you can see how there wasn't a level of loving compassion within its intention. And so you're taking time to heal this because you are also a part of this. You are part of this business or this way of building of the past. And so now that you've seen it on both ends, the illumination that you feel, the truth that you gain and walk away with, you plant seeds from you create your own essential harvest. You're getting ready to create that. I think that that's the highest timeline, right? We're really trying to compact these timelines into one weekly message, but that's what we're getting right now. All right, Taurus, Sun, and Moon viewers, thank you so much for being a part of the channel with me. If you could please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time, I'll see you next week. Bye. Love you. Thank you.